April 26, 1986. Since that day, 25 years ago, the term peaceful atom disappeared in the dark radioactive cloud of a burning nuclear reactor number four of the nuclear power plant of the Chernobyl in Pekin. It became a milestone in the history of nuclear power in Ukraine and in the world. It was the worst technological catastrophe, it was the worst accident ever seen. Wide-ranging and most significant catastrophe in the world occurred in a small and resilient Ukrainian town which called in official newspapers and official reports in PP settlement. 25 years later, we start to realize what the true impact from the nuclear accident can be. Ukrainian National Commission for Radiation Protection calculates about 500,000 deaths. But according to our calculation, the real data is around 900,000 deaths from Chernobyl so far. At least 10 million people have been affected by the accident in Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus. Hundreds of thousands of people still not returned from to their homes and agricultural lands is still restricted hundreds from kilometers from the scene of the accident. In total, other three square kilometers are contaminated in the three countries and around 2,000 villages around Chernobyl are evacuated and contaminated from radioactivity. Now more than 330,000 people are evacuated and relocated. And at least 3-4 million children require medical treatment because of accident of Chernobyl. Chernobyl catastrophe is not just historical event from a moment in time 25 years ago. It brought also into our lives such terminology like liquidators and children of Chernobyl. It is still having a massive impact. And the number of people who get sick and die before the accident and Chernobyl nuclear power plant is still rising. Now, 25 years later, 8 million people still reside in areas that will remain highly contaminated by Chernobyl radioactive pollution for many, many years. Since half-life of a major radioactive element released is cesium-137, is a little 30-40 years. And the radiological enhanced health consequences of this nuclear accident will continue to be experienced for centuries to come. Recent researches by the Nuclear Energy Agency shows that the radioactive release was about 140 million QB and was a calculation of the equivalent of the material from nuclear power plant. Having a huge impact on Ukraine, Russia and Belarus, it has also affected other European countries. Austria, Sweden, UK, Finland, Denmark, Norway, Slovenia, Romania, Hungary, Switzerland, Czech Republic, Italy, Bulgaria, Greece, where radiation level was about one QRE per square kilometer, or in equivalent 37 kilobecquerelli per square meter. The, the, the limit used uh, to say this, that this area uh, are contaminated. 
infant mortality hundreds of kilometers from the stricken nuclear plant has increased up to 30% in 25 years. And many young people suffering from different diseases. It's genetic disorders, leukemia, internal organ deformities, thyroid and other types of cancers, respiratory, diseases of respiratory system, diseases of blood vascular system, different neurological and psychological disorders. They are the victims of the greatest, worldest release of radioactivity. This commemoration comes at a pivotal moment in the future of nuclear power. As the modern generation of nuclear plants in the near the end of their life. And we have opportunity to reassess the human price. We are ready to pay for electricity produced in this way. Now, 25 years later, Ukrainian Greens call to the Ukrainian government to stop immediately extension uh, of the lifespan of nuclear reactors. And we consider such activity is illegal and environmentally harmful. We demand to stop the development of nuclear industry. We demand to stop building of new, new nuclear reactors on Kmelnitskaya and Grovinskaya nuclear power plants. We demand to stop development of nuclear cycle in Ukraine. Last year, Green Party of Ukraine blocked the bill which aimed to start the construction of new uh, nuclear dump uh, in Ukraine, in Kyiv region. We have a very long history of our fighting against nuclear storages and against nuclear power in Ukraine. Ten years ago, Ukrainian Greens convinced Ukrainian parliament and convinced Ukrainian president to stop exploitation of Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And 28 years ago, three years before Chernobyl accident, Ukrainian Green activists in the Soviet Union warned the Soviet Union government about technical problems of Chernobyl nuclear power plant. One of them was my father, who wrote a letter to uh, Andropov, Secretary General of the Soviet Union. We Greens say that nuclear power is inherently highly dangerous, and despite claims of improvements in safety, scientists agree that another catastrophe on the scale of Chernobyl could still happen every, anytime and anywhere. Serious nuclear accidents took place before Chernobyl and continue to happen right up to the present day like catastrophe at Fukushima nuclear power plant. The new generation of nuclear reactors now promoted by a nuclear lobbyist is as being safer than old one. But we Greens believe that nuclear power was and is a terrible mistake. The Chernobyl accident, while having come some features in common with other global catastrophic events, is so far unique. We can only hope it remains so. My generation saw its beginning, but it is unlikely that the next generation will see its end. Thank you.